This is Logan Hall with the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative, and you're watching a video tutorial on how to perform a viewshed analysis in ArcGIS for desktop. In this tutorial, we'll go over a hypothetical scenario for a proposed observation tower on the Savage River State Forest in Garrett County, Maryland. This structure is proposed for 15 meters and must have view of the Savage River Reservoir to the south. Our objectives in this tutorial are to create point feature for proposed tower at the given coordinates, to populate the necessary attributes for the proposed tower, and to perform a viewshed analysis for the Savage River Observation Tower. This analysis, using ArcGIS for desktop, does require the Spatial Analyst extension. We'll begin by opening the Customize dropdown and selecting Extensions. Ensure that Spatial Analyst has been activated and click Close. In preparing data for a viewshed analysis, we need a point feature class for the observation site and a local raster data set for processing. When the observation site is a point feature class, it can hold a unique set of constraints. In this particular scenario, we can add a field to indicate the elevation of the proposed structure. We'll start by bringing in our Garrett County image service, and we'll use the DEM underscore M for meters elevation units. Using the GoTo XY tool, we need to make sure we're in decimal degrees for units. And at the given coordinates, with longitude negative 79.12253, with a latitude of 39.520649. Click the icon to add the point, and then click Zoom to within the GoToXY tool. We can close the GoToXY window. And using the draw toolbar, we're going to convert graphics to features. We're converting our point graphic using the coordinate system that matches the data frame. We're going to check the box to automatically delete graphics after the conversion. And then navigate to your output workspace folder and name your output shape file appropriately. We'll do proposed underscore tower and click save. Click OK to run the tool. Click yes to add the data to the map. Now we need to export from our image service for local processing. So again using our draw tool, select a rectangle and draw a polygon to encompass the Savage River surrounding our proposed tower. Export based on selected graphic. Navigate to your output workspace folder. Select your output format and name your output. For more information on connecting to the Maryland LiDAR image services, and how to extract from image services for local processing, please refer to the appropriate documentation. Click yes to add the data to the map, and select our polygon graphic and click delete. Now that we have a local raster data set for processing, we can remove our LiDAR image service and in the table of contents, we can bring the proposed tower on top of the raster data set. 
in order for the viewshed analysis to understand the parameters set on our observation site, we need to add a field to the proposed tower and populate this field with the proposed height. To so open the attribute table, and under table options, click add field. The field name is critical for the viewshed tool to understand. It needs to be offset A, all capital letters, with no spaces. In our case, a short integer will suffice, so click OK. Right click our newly added field and open Field Calculator. Since we're outside of an edit session, we can click Yes. And our proposed tower is 15 meters in height. In this case, our DEM is in meters elevation units, so there's no conversion. We can just use 15. Click OK and close the attribute table. We'll open the search window and navigate to the ViewShed Spatial Analyst tool. Input raster data set. We are clipped Garrett DEM in meters. Our input observation feature is our proposed tower. And then navigate to your output workspace folder for your output viewshed raster. The rest of our parameters are default. And click OK. Looking at the results, we can open our viewshed properties. Under display tab, set our transparency to 60% and click OK. We can see cells colored pink are not visible from the observation tower at 15 meters in height, and cells in green will be visible from the observation tower at the given height. If we zoom in, to the southwest corner of our data, we'll see that a major portion of the river and reservoir will not be visible from the proposed structure. Now officials can determine whether enough of the river is visible to justify construction or possibly considering a new observation tower or location based on the results. For additional resources, please visit imat.maryland.gov and to access your Maryland LIDAR topography server, visit lidar.geodata.md.gov forward slash imap.